everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today was a shocking day because I violated one of my own rules. I was installing this flush mounted ceiling fan slash light and there's two wires that came down and they go over here to the wall to some of these uh, dimmers. Ah, I should have known when there's two wires. I thought I was safe because I, I had them off. But what you should always know is that there's always a little bit of electricity when you have dimmers. I should have known better. I violated one of my own rules. And I should have checked for voltage before I started fishing around. Well, I pulled the old ceiling fixture down and it's over there in the box. And then I went and I was installing the new one. And uh, when you know it, as I grabbed the, uh, the hot leads, I felt a little bit of a tingle and uh, I promptly got down and then proceeded to check voltage and kill breakers. But that is not the intent for today's video. I'm just going to show you that even I violate some of my rules sometimes. Mm, I wish I didn't and I learn a painful lesson. Today is more a lesson about voltage and amperage. And the reason I'm making this video is because it's Halloween. And for Halloween, we always have things like inflatables that just uh, like to poofity poof and sometimes not so much. Anyway, most of them work, but I've got one here that is uh, not playing well. It sort of inflates, but then it just doesn't do so well. So let me go ahead and set up the camera and uh, we are going to experiment with voltage and amperage. All right, let's do this. That should be good. All right. I'll see if you guys can uh, view what I'm doing right here. Okay, so I have the DC leads right here, and these inflatables work based on a squirrel cage fan that exhausts inside an enclosed container. Well, as these containers get older, some of the edges get perforated, and anytime you have leaks, even tiny ones, things like these tiny little fans just don't work as well. Plus, you know, sometimes the bearings in the fans themselves start working less and less. So, I have the original unit right here, which is a uh, Tingshin 12 volt, 0.67 amps. All right, well this guy gets kind of warm. Gets kind of warm. That tells me that that little fan down there is probably pulling quite a bit of juice. So what do I do? I go to, how about a Phillips Respironics power supply? This guy here is 12 volts, five amps, right? We're going from 0.67 to five amps. Let's go ahead and see what happens. I've got the leads right here and I've got the AC plug right here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, she's live. So one of the things that you guys should know is that often these fans are, well, they got protection diodes on one side, almost always there, there's some sort of diode. So they're only gonna spin in one direction. And since they only spin in one direction, that means we have to get the polarity correct. So right here is the fan leads. Let's go ahead and connect to my power supply. I'm just gonna arbitrarily choose a pin. Okay, well, it looks like I got it correct that time. Usually, I don't get it correct. It's kinda like a USB stick, you just can't plug it in. So, it's working, sort of. Eh, I mean, you can't hear any noises. It's coming. I mean, it'll inflate, but it never goes all the way up. So this is actually doing better than the 0.6 amp, 7 amps of this guy. A little bit better. We have half an amp, or no, actually five amps. We have five amps worth of power that we could pull. It's clearly, it's doing better. So that is gonna override any complications the fan has. But what if, what if this still isn't enough power? What do we do? Well, let me go ahead and disconnect this guy. Throw him over here. All right, my next one. This is, well, it's a Dell power supply. Look at that, all right, all right. So, the, you know, these are dime a dozen, um, 19 and a half volts. We're stepping it up, guys, 19 and a half volts. 
I've got the wire stripped down right here. So we've got uh, the black and the white and the blue. I don't know what the blue is for. It's probably like a power monitoring pin. Something like that. Maybe current overdrive protection. No idea. Let's go ahead and plug them in. All right. So the Dell power supply is live. Let's see if we increase the speed of the fan, which should effectively increase the static pressure. All right, so let's just go ahead and connect these arbitrarily. Wow, I'm gonna go buy a lottery ticket. I got them both correct. The fan is definitely moving faster. You can tell it's, it's inflating way quicker. Now it's true. This is probably going to wear this fan out a wee bit quicker. It's operating normally at 12 volts. We got it at 19 and a half volts. But do we really care? Not really. If I get one more season out of this guy, I think I'm going to be happy. As you can see, as it fills up the reservoir, it's going to uh, get a little less flaccid. I think I like this one already. So you can see how I got this set up right now with just a couple jumper wires. And is this a win? Yeah, it's almost all the way up. I think that's a win. I think we got that fan not only with more amperage, but also almost twice the amount of voltage. We got almost 20 volts. And given it's a little bit windy out here, you can see some of my other ones are blowing around a little bit. You can see like that guy over there blowing around a little bit. But uh, this guy actually has <laughs> a little bit of a rigid form here. Maybe I saved it for one more Halloween. I don't know. I think it's struggling a little bit. I just got a problem sitting up. Almost disappointing. Come on, pumpkin. What are you doing? There. <laughs> it's kind of like my one-year-old that's got a round butt and it wants to just, you know, sit there and then fall over randomly. Yeah. Well, maybe it's because of how I got it tied down. But... You can see, whoop, there it goes. It's got a static form. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. All right. <laughs> I am gonna sadly call that a win uh, because I think part of the reason it's not sitting flat is because poor surface preparation. Let's blame it on that. That's my fault. But the fan is spinning faster. It's not making any noises yet. And uh, I sort of have a pumpkin now a little bit of tweaking we'll be there anyway guys that's my little experiment that's why I keep extra power supplies floating around every time I throw out a medical device I try to keep the power supply you'll never know when you're gonna want to trim some wires off and save a pumpkin hmm. <laughs> anyway this has been a shocking day I hope you guys have a fantastic week thanks for watching